Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to discard output uh, using the tilde. So for this simple example, I'm going to be using um, a matrix and finding the size uh, of a matrix, the rows or the columns of the matrix or an array. So first I'm going to create a matrix A, call it A and fill it with ones, and it'll have three rows and ten columns. So the first way that you would say, you know, I can find the rows or columns is using the length command, so the length function. So if I want to find the rows using length, then I could say it's the length of A, and the length command or function actually finds the number of elements along the largest dimension of an array. So you need to specify uh, that this is going to be along the rows direction. So we can say A, and we'll use the colon uh, to specify that it's all rows in column one. And then to get the columns, we can say columns length is equal to length in the same way. We want to get the first row, all columns, we, and this will give us the uh, length of the the number of rows and the number of columns. So if I run that, you can see over here, and I spelled this wrong. Okay, run again. So you see the number of rows is three and the number of columns is ten. Okay, but this is kind of confusing. It can get kind of clunky, and we don't even want rows. So uh, to get what we wanted, we would have this as our code. Okay, so instead of this perhaps confusing code, you can use size. So let's use size. Uh, the output from size gets you row, the number of rows, and then the number of columns, number of columns, and we'll say size of A. And if we run this one, then we can see that it gives us rows 3, columns 10, but we don't want, um, we don't want the rows. So what you can do is, uh, one of the ways you can do this is actually use this function, and then you can say after, you can say clear of errors, and then delete the name that you don't want. So if we run that, you can see that now no longer do we have uh, the rows showing up, but now this is two lines of code. So what's an easier way to do this? We can just replace a row size with a tilde here and run it. And you can see we no longer have the rows over there. So this is a simple way that you can uh, suppress output or uh, uh, from a, a function or suppress output that you don't want. Uh, thanks for watching.